Hey everyone, it's Joa from Special Heart Studio. I'm back with another real quick tutorial. This time I'm going to show you a fun app that I found today um, as some folks were asking for help in choosing colors. I frequently use the multicolor packs of cardstock from Michaels. And if you want to try to match what it will look like on your screen with the colors that you have in cardstock, this little app is a great tool to do that. I've also used color wheels and different color websites, which is great. And I find colors I like, but then I can't ever find the, the paper in those colors. So instead, I'm going to try to match paper I already have um, and mess with the layers in design space so that I can see and visualize what it would look like if I were to cut it that way. So this little app is called Pixel Picker. I am on my iPhone and um, I, I'm not sure I don't have a Android device. I, I can only assume there would be something similar, but it was a free app that I downloaded from the App Store. And when you come in, it'll ask you to pick your picture, and then it's just a little screen with these crosshairs, and you can move it on your phone, as you'll see here on screen. Um, you just slide the picture around with your finger. So this, I took a picture of a pack. I pulled just some of the pieces of paper out of a pack of the Recollections paper, and you can scroll this around. Of course, this isn't perfect. This will depend on the quality of your photo, the lighting in your room, but it'll give you a really, really close idea on screen. And of course, you'll cut it on this paper. So I've, I've left the, the crosshairs here at this spot of the dark purple. And you'll see up in the top left corner of my phone screen is the, the where, it, where it landed. So you can see that changes as I scroll this around. Um, and then there are hex codes and RGB codes. In Cricut Design Space, you can select the, the layer that you want to change the color and come up here to the color box and enter that exact hex code down at the bottom of the color box. So I'm going to put 704E95 and that's the purple. And then you can go through and do this to each of the layers. So then on my phone, I'll scroll over to this lighter lavender color. Um, and it picks up every single little pixel. So you do have to kind of move it around to a spot that looks similar uh, to the actual paper that you have in the top left corner. So that one looks pretty good. I'm going to do A. AF9 EDC. And then I'm going to just keep doing that through all these layers to see what it would look like if I cut this C in the paper, these this paper colors. I'm gonna scroll it over a little bit more. And then my last layer I selected, and we'll scroll the phone photo, A, C, B, 3, B, 5. There we go. So that is a general idea on screen of how it would look if I were to cut the see from the this paper in these colors. So it's it's fun to play around with and see, well, if I decide to put the the C on the bottom and you can use the color sync paddle, panel here to to go ahead and change your layers. So if I decided I want that second to last layer to be the dark purple, I can drag it to the dark purple instead and then go back and look. Um so now I don't have that teal color, so I'll go back to my phone here. At times I even make a square to have kind of a color swatch so that I can pull these around and don't have to 
pull in another color and retype it. And then once once I have the, the squares with my color swatches, I just delete them before I go to make it. 60, oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm back to how I was at the beginning. I meant to do it on this one. So let's pull that one up here. And then this bottom purple will scroll back here. That's really pretty though. DA6. So that gives you a, it gives the, the letter a totally different look with the same colors, but just in a different order. So this is a fun little app. Like I said, I found it on the Apple App Store. It was free. They do have an in-app purchase of 99 cents to remove these little ads. It doesn't bother me. So um, anyway, thought that would be a fun way to be able to get closer to the colors of paper that you actually have in on hand um, and see what it looks like on screen before you commit to cutting your paper. Thanks. Hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get updates when I add more video content. You can find my website at specialheartstudio.com.